In this advanced tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to take advantage of NiFi routing and NiFi expressions to make your templates more general purpose. In our example template, we're going to walk through a flow that waits for control files to arrive. It will extract a URI contained in the control file, and the URI will be the location of the file that we actually want to ingest. In addition, we're going to parse a protocol in that URI to determine the corresponding connector to use, such as SFTP, S3, HDFS, or a local file. Then we'll use the appropriate connector to read the file and write it to HDFS. So let's take a look at our flow. First, we're going to watch for new files arriving on the file system. The control file will have the extension .control, and we're going to look in the folder var drop zone control. In the second step, we're going to use the extract text processor to pull out the URI from the file. Uh, we're going to write the contents of uh, the first line of the file into an, a flow file attribute called my file. Let's look at an example of a control file. Notice the marketing.control file has a single line, which is HDFS and a relative path to some data.txt. The engineering control file has a single line, which is referencing a file on the local file system. The first part of this is the protocol, and the second part is the relative path. So now that we've extracted the full URI from that control file, we're going to parse uh, that URI for the components that we need. So here we use the uh, update attribute and create three new attributes in the flow file. Uh, the path, one for the protocol, and then another for the type of file. And then we're going to use a NiFi expression, which is going to take my file attribute. Um, we're going to extract the substring uh, after the colon, which was the protocol, and that should give us the full relative path. And then we're going to extract the protocol, which is everything before the colon. In the next step, we're going to route on the protocol attribute. So we're going to use the route on attribute processor. And depending on what the protocol uh, is, we're going to route it to one of these strategies that we defined. So in the route on attribute, you declare what the routes are. In this case, we have a plain file, an HDFS file, an S3 file, or an SFTP file. And depending on um, what the value of this attribute is, um, we're going to route it. And then notice here that we have connectors for each of these strategies. So if it's an S3 object, we're going to use the fetch S3 object. If it's on the local file system, we're going to use the fetch file. And if it's already in HDFS, then we can actually skip that step uh, and just go and, and do whatever we're going to do. Otherwise, we're going to write that file, we're going to extract it from its source and write it to HDFS. So let's go ahead and uh, drop a file and see what happens. The first file we're going to drop is the engineering control file, which has a single local file on the file system. And so what we want it to do is route through the local file system git file, write that file to HDFS. Notice we picked up the file. We went through the route on attribute. We routed through the fetch file, which is going to read that file from the local file system. It uploaded it to HDFS, and then here we're just logging the attribute. And if we drop our second file, which is the marketing control file, and remember the marketing control file uh, was using um, a path that was already on HDFS. So you can see in this case, we routed this direction. And since we already had the HDFS, we just extracted the absolute path, which would otherwise be written out by this step. Uh, and so that way, when we get to do something, the absolute um, HDFS path is an attribute that's uh, common, regardless of how it comes in. And you can see that we have uh, written the file out. Now, by uh, creating this as a template, which I've already done here, so now in Ops Manager, we can go into our control file tutorial, 
and we can see that the two runs uh, are here. Let's go ahead and open the first one up. Look, look at step details. So now let's look through the operational metadata to see uh, what happened here. So at first we received a control file called marketing.control. In the second step, we extracted the URI. The file we want to ingest was already in HDFS. Then we extracted the pieces out of that uh, URI to get the protocol. And then we're going to route on attribute uh, using that protocol. So we routed to the HDFS um, flow path. And now we just logged something. And then if we go back to the other uh, feed, we should see a slightly different path. Our control file here is the engineering.control. Um, we extracted the following path, specs.csv, and it's a local file. Of course, we have our protocol, local file system. And then we uh, route on attribute to file. We fetch the file, we upload it to HDFS, and then we do something.